Hi guys, so this is Lynn again. Um, this is a little, might seem a little strange, but I wanted to take an opportunity to just kind of explain to you my um, my background and my philosophy and why I really think um, it's going to help you to follow someone like me on YouTube. Um, I've been teaching this stuff for about 17 years now. Uh, high school and college level, mostly algebra, trig, and calculus. Trigonometry and calculus mostly actually and I have um, I've taught in an organized like organized formal education setting obviously in a high school classroom in a college classroom but I've also done quite a bit of one-on-one -on -one tutoring and this experience has has given me a few insights and the one thing as a classroom teacher I saw firsthand the the topics that really tripped up students that really even just the teeny tiny little concepts that would really get people tripped up so I know where those are where those happen so I know how to kind of um, alleviate that getting tripped up on things like that the other thing I've noticed especially in my one-on-one -on -one time with students as as a tutor is I've seen the notes and um, the resources that they have been given by some of their teachers and I don't mean to knock any other teacher ever because I know every teacher that I've ever known is a very very hard worker and is really doing their best however um, I feel like with math especially it often gets kind of glazed over the importance of relating mathematics which to most people is kind of a foreign language right I mean you have all this notation and this terminology and these big words that you have just absolutely never seen before until you get into this trigonometry class or this calculus class and you it just clobbers you in the face all these words and no one takes the time to back up and really break it down and explain what each of these little things means what each of these little symbols means each of these little um, this little notation the fact that a sine and a cosine always has to contain an angle it can never be separate from an angle or the fact that a logarithm always has to contain an argument a log can never sit by itself little things like that don't often get explained in a classroom whether it's a teacher who um, tries to teach directly out of a textbook which oftentimes isn't very helpful or sometimes um, you have a teacher who is just working really hard and is really really knowledgeable in mathematics but just has a really hard time relating it to students who don't necessarily don't understand the language and um, so I really feel it's so important for me to break down in these little videos and I try to keep them short I try to keep them about five minutes to really break down each little nut and bolt that goes into the trigonometry class or the calculus class so you can the stuff that gets glazed over in class you can brush up and look at these videos and say oh that's what that means oh okay um, I've seen so many students that just get like I said clobbered by their math class and it really does something to someone's like self-image almost and I hate seeing that I hate seeing students that are so upset and emotional um, you know because of their math class and it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't have to be that way if you had someone that was really um, you know felt passionate about really helping you understand it it is learnable I promise you this stuff is learnable you just have to find the right resources and I really feel strongly that I can be that for you so please uh, follow me subscribe whatever uh, send me lots of comments and I will try to reply as quickly as possible because I feel really strongly about really wanting to help you guys a lot so that's it hope that makes sense thanks guys